Jennifer Love Hewitt, rose to teen idol status, after landing the role of Sarah, on the popular Fox show, Party of Five. Originally cast for a nine-episode arc in season two, reception from producers and audiences was so positive, that she became a series regular. Hewitt became a film star, with the release of the horror film I Know What You Did Last Summer, in 1997. On the budget of $17 million, the film made $125 million. Jennifer Love Hewitt was cast in the role, based on her ability to project vulnerability, according to the producers. In 1998 she followed this hit film, with a sequel, I Still Know What You Did Last Summer, which, though not as successful as the first film, took in more money on its opening weekend. In the same year, Hewitt starred as Amanda Beckett, the most popular girl in school, and the senior class prom queen, in the teen comedy Can't Hardly Wait. One of the film reviews said the following, Hewitt was so likable, that it's hard not to have at least a minor rooting interest in her character. With over $25 million at the domestic box office, the film emerged as a moderate commercial success. In 1999, she played a record company executive, in the indie comedy The Suburbans. The film was released on a very limited number of screens and grossed only $11,000. Next, Jennifer took lead in, and produced Time of Your Life, a Party of Five spin-off, following her character Sarah, as she moved to New York City to learn more about her biological parents. Despite Hewitt's popularity at the time, the show was cancelled in the middle of the season. In the Audrey Hepburn story, a biographical drama television film based on the life of actress Audrey Hepburn, Hewitt was in the lead role and served as an executive producer. In 2001, the actress joined Sigourney Weaver, in the romantic comedy Heartbreakers, playing a mother-daughter team, setting up an elaborate con to swindle wealthy men out of their money. Roger Ebert, noted that Hewitt, spends the entire film with her treasures on display, maybe as product placement for the Wonderbra. Ray Liotta, Jason Lee, and Gene Hackman were also part of the ensemble cast. Heartbreakers received mixed reviews from critics, and grossed just over $57 million, on a budget of $35 million. Despite a very lucrative TV deal valued at $10 million with NBC, at the end, Heartbreakers still lost unspecified amount of money. In 2002, Hewitt starred as a genius scientist, with aspirations of field work, alongside Jackie Chan, in the action comedy, The Tuxedo. Tuxedo was spy parody, about a special tuxedo that grants its wearer special abilities. Even though the film grossed over $104 million, it was not a success, due to the inflated budget of $60 million. In 2004, Hewitt starred as a musician, in the romantic fantasy drama If Only. The film was not picked up for U.S. distribution. American audiences were given a chance to see this film, when it premiered on the ABC Family Television Network. In 2004 Jennifer also joined live-action comedy Garfield. The film also featured Bill Murray, as the voice of Garfield, who was created with computer animation, though all other animals were real. Garfield was a box office success grossing over $200 million on a $50 million budget. From 2005 to 2010, Jennifer Love Hewitt portrayed Melinda Gordon, a woman with the ability to see and communicate with ghosts, on the CBS television series Ghost Whisperer, which ran on CBS for five seasons and 107 episodes. Dot. Hewitt reprised her role as Dr. Liz Wilson, for Garfield, a tale of two kitties released in 2006. The film did not perform as well as its predecessor, but still achieved a strong box office gross, with over $143 million on a budget of $60 million. Her next film release was the comedy, Shortcut to Happiness, in which she starred as the devil, opposite Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin. Next Jennifer reunited with Freddie Prince, in the animated production Delgo, which, when released, was a massive box office bomb, taking in less than $1 million in North America. In 2010, Hewitt portrayed a good-hearted barista in the independent drama Café. In 2013, Jennifer Love Hewitt was the lead in the television series The Client List. Based on the 2010 television film of the same name, the series ran for two seasons, and featured Hewitt as a different character, in a premise that was slightly different from the film. She received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress, Miniseries or Television Film for her role. Between 2014 and 2015, Hewitt played the regular role of Kate Callahan, 
an undercover agent who joins the agency, in the tenth season of Criminal Minds. She left the series at the end of the season due to her second pregnancy, and decided to take a career hiatus for the next three years. Beginning in 2018, Hewitt has played Maddie Buckley, an ER nurse working as a 911 operator after leaving an abusive relationship, on the Fox Police Procedural 911. If you liked this video, please subscribe, like the video and share it. Dot.